Hello and welcome back to another installment of Pokey Fodder. We are continuing on with Dark Gym Cup, although I'm actually not going to play any Gym Cup matches. And the reason being is today I want to, as you saw from the thumbnail, I want to go over the EX Pokemon Darkrai. But I do want to show that I have four more wins, I think, to go till getting the second Darkrai. And while we're here, let's just look at Darkrai's wheel. He has a special, he's a dark type with two MP and has the ability of bad dreams. Opposing Pokemon that are asleep adjacent to this Pokemon are knocked out, but Pokemon passed while moving do not count. So they put in that little caveat that just because you pass by a Pokemon who's asleep doesn't mean that they're going to be knocked out too. That would be really ridiculous <laughs> if you hop over or do you know something and, and two or three Pokemon go, go by the wayside. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. So at his, at his base level, we have 16 miss in two different segments. We have a Dark Void, which is a one-star purple. The battle opponent and all opposing Pokemon adjacent to it spin. If they spin a wide attack, they fall asleep. That, that's pretty crazy, actually. If you think about who are the big hitters in the meta right now, you've got Deoxys A, which is more than 50% of a white wheel. You've got um, Frizion which has two white segments on its wheel. Tracheon, Cobalion, all I have white. Uh, Gyarados has a significant portion of his wheels white. So there are a lot of white wheel segments. Um, Ho-Oh is predominantly white. So this could affect a lot of people and it's balanced because it is just one star. You have a 32 segment white piece of Dark Pulse 70, followed by another eight miss. And then you have a 24 segment Dark Leap, two star purple. You can move this Pokemon two steps. If you do, this Pokemon gains weight. Similar to sightseeing, with the exception of um, you don't have to take the hurdle, which would be really nice on the twins. And in fact, the, the twins, Arrestroom and Zekrom, might be too good if they did not have to fly. Um, so it gives you a little versatility there. When you level this Pokemon up, you're going to take it down from 16 down to 12 total miss, which is quite a bit for an attacker that only hits 70. But I feel like it's done this way because... Dark Void is so powerful, and there's a lot of good synergies that you can use this Pokemon with. Uh, Treviant comes to mind with its manipulative. You've got Poliwhirl, which I will put Poliwhirl in a deck because I want to run this for you, but I am going to do room matches instead of league play. But Poliwhirl comes to mind, and Leafeon, who is a very viable runner in today's meta, with the tropical energy plate because it is covered against respins. Decent Pokemon here. There's, there's, you know, I, I'm, I've been a lot more excited about other Pokemon that have come out in gym boosters, and it turns out, you know, maybe I was wrong about Kyogre and the Break Energy. I kind of regret. No, I don't kind of. I do regret putting. EX cube into Kyogre. I really thought that that having that ability was going to come into play. I still think it might, but I'm not as certain as I was at one time. So in the grand scheme of things, where do you think this Pokemon rates as far as gym rewards it, it this was another one of those that was released japan before the worldwide release 
got a little bit of a buff and I don't even know what it was before. I, th I think maybe it was a 50 attack, but now, you know, with power creep and everything, 70 is pretty low and 50 would almost make this unusable completely. And with all that being said, I do have a room match set up. I want to, I want to try to get Darkrai some playing time. And when I, here's the thing, when I do it in league play or in gym play, I, I kind of don't always play strategically well because I want to try to show off these abilities and then sometimes it doesn't really come into play. The best I can do is go to a room match. My opponent is going to be running Darkrai. I'm going to be running Darkrai. Hopefully, something happens where we can see its abilities. But I also want to make it an authentic game. I don't want to just have my opponent line up his Pokemon and we'll say, here, let's just keep attacking with Darkrai because that's not authentic gameplay. At the same time, I don't really want to risk my gym ranking and I'm actually changing pace on league play and, and slowing down quite a bit how many I play game-wise. And I'll still do videos, but I'm, I'm kind of changing up and instead of playing two or 300 games a month, try to back that down quite a bit and have a concentrate more on quality and win percentage over quantity. Anyway, with that being said, going back to the gym cup, I'm at eight consecutive. Unfortunately, it's not eight. No, I did lose to the guy who at time of this recording is the number six guy. When I lost him, I think he was number 12, maybe number 11, somewhere in there. Um, I didn't play real well. And, and that's, it is what it is. He, he, he played better than I did. I didn't play well. And um, it is what it is. But we are ranked number 27, which is decent. My, it'll get me three trophies at the end of the gym cup, which gets you new masks. Like I said before, that 51 mask is great. I'm nowhere near there. But if I can rack up as many trophies each gym as possible, I can try to get to that 51 quicker. So without further ado, I'm going to jump into some a room match with Joy, who is also in the end guild. All right, so we have our opponent set. And like I said before, this is a room match because I, I don't want to run it in gym. I'm actually doing really well in the gym. I would like to try to keep my ranking as long as possible. <laughs> and I didn't tell Joy what to run other than I said include Darkrai because I want to feature Darkrai. So it looks like he's running a dark deck. Um, and unfortunately, because I, I didn't, there were no specific details as far as what to run or what not to run. So, um, <laughs> So his deck is pretty ridiculous, quite honestly. <laughs> oh man. But what I've done here is I've got Darkrai, which has the sleep ability that we've gone over, and Poliwhirl, who is going to counter most of the major hitters in this meta. And, um, but also has the Hypnosis sleep aspect. So we're going to try to utilize that as well. I think, but I haven't, I haven't given Joy any instruction on play differently. So I would not expect him. Man, why? Oh, I can't just attack there because. Um, so yeah, so here we go. Double chance hurdle jump, goal block, tropical energy. And I, I think as far as gym rewards go, 
Okay, well, that was... At least I only get pushed back, but I think he's gonna evolve off of that. This could be really ugly, ugly if, if he has hydrogens all over the board. Everything's gonna be running Draco meter. But, um... <laughs> I'm just laughing at his deck because this is ridiculous. And that's no good. We are just going to run right up on him. This is not a good matchup for me either. This is this could get ugly in a hurry. Um, I just hope that there's even an, any kind of an opportunity. Oh, he's not running any kind of a hurdle jump. But he's got all that roar and pushback and craziness. I haven't even won a spin yet. Let's see. Just don't need the purple. Okay, good. Finally. Finally getting something going. Let's go ahead and attack here. The 50 on Zapdos and the 50 on Mew are those... And the third... Well, I guess the 31 comes in handy sometimes with... Um... Alright, let's try this. Let's go ahead and double chance. The 31 comes in handy sometimes on Sceptile, but the two, the 50 on Zapdos and the Zip 50 on Mew are like the two rolls you never want to see. Okay, we'll just take the knockout. Not really what I was going for. I wanted to try to get the Dark Void or the Dark Leap there. Didn't necessarily work out in our favor. We will jump up here. <laughs> and both my the, the two Pokemon that I have in to assist with Darkrai are both in the PC, so that's not cool. Uh oh. So now here's what's cool is it's optional, and um, he chose to enact that. I'm actually, I'm actually not. Oh yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm going to go walk, and the reason being is because if I don't, and he attacks again, he could potentially jump and land on my goal. That's why I thought twice and decided to go ahead and go with the goal block there, because I was going to just hop over him. But that is not the case here. Definitely want to try and it's not a great matchup against Greninja because Greninja has so much gold, but it kind of freezes him as well. Wait, oh, wow. I did not know that um, Zuelos got a plus one MP when it evolved as well. I knew Hydrogen did. Very interesting. That is kind of cool that if they do the, the plus 10 damage and the extra star and then a plus one as well for all evolutions moving forward I would actually be okay with that um, you know what I just made a really bad mistake that turned out to work in my favor there because um, 
I actually thought that was my dark cry <laughs> sitting right there. So we are going to go home and take the victory. Didn't really show off Darkrai, except for the jump. Let me see if we can do one more, and I will let you know. So we are going to run another go at this. And like I said, I, I, I want to give, <laughs> so he changes up his deck into the Weaviles. I want to give like authentic, authentic experiences with these Pokemon when I do the spotlight videos. And you know, if, if I, if I, have someone play a certain way then it's not really authentic and so like i'm kind of torn between because i want you guys to see how these pokemon look and perform in real game situations quite honestly and yeah i could tell i could set up a, a room match with an opponent and just say okay play dumb but i don't know that that necessarily gives you the viewer a, a good representation of whether this pokemon could work in your deck or if you should be running this pokemon and i almost feel like if just even if the specific pokemon that i'm trying to showcase doesn't really get a whole lot of action or a whole lot of use during a match. I feel like that's not necessarily a bad thing because sometimes your opponents avoiding a specific Pokemon is good enough to for you to say, you know what? I was noticing that they never did attack into Darkrai for fear of that dark void or the um the dark leap and maybe you decide i kind of want to what do we got here i think no okay and so maybe the lack of an attack from an opponent or maybe the way the opponent plays to avoid certain pokemon is enough for you to say you know what maybe i should be running that pokemon in my in my deck we are gonna go try to get frozen right here <laughs> i will say the, the weavile decks they're not real strong even in the gym they're not real strong but if you have an opponent, please roll purple again. Oh, lucky, lucky, lucky. That, that was so fortunate. But if you have an opponent who is landing a lot of the, the ice, was ice punch there? They're a very hard out, if you know what I mean. They, um, cause they're gonna freeze you when you knock them out. 
And then you have to take a turn or two to go unfreeze them. And they're not... If you're rolling well, they are a really good deck. If you're not rolling great, then, you know, they're not super strong. But if you're looking to troll some people, it's a great idea. Okay, we are going to... We're going to try to go... We're going to try this again. <laughs> oh, did we tie? Okay, good. I wasn't looking. I was laughing because I was like, another ice punch. Let's see if we can avoid the ice punch. No. See? And he's rolling. That's the third straight ice punch that he's rolled. The good news is, is both Dark Rite and um, Yvettel. Oh, crap. Nah, they have a lot of purple, so Let's see if I can knock him out without him getting ice punch. Go ahead and hop over. Gonna have to backtrack here so I don't get surrounded. I haven't said surround sound in a while. I'm actually pretty impressed with myself because for a while there every video was surround sound <laughs> i could lose this or i could grass whistle him um, i need him to roll gold or purple again or miss no oh, and now we get to redo all of that and he rolls his 50. So we're going to be forced there. He will probably bring Greninja here, which will force me to hurdle jump there. Oh, and he's going to straight attack. Okay. No. Whew. That was a close one. If we can survive this. Ooh. Ooh, good. Oh, threatening there. That would have put Homeboy to sleep. And. Yeah, that would put him to sleep. And knocked him out for being adjacent. And I like Poliwhirl because it, it's so many people, especially in the gym, so many people are talking about how Tracheon and Verizion don't have counters. And while that's kind of true, Poliwhirl is an amazing counter to all of them. Um, yeah, he just, he's, Poliwhirl, it, it just, that switching of the, the wheel, oh my gosh. As I'm bragging about him, he misses. What does my opponent have? Just dark energy plate, which isn't going to come into play. I'm just going to back up because no matter which way I go, he would go the other way. I'm going to need you to not die and not get frozen. Perfect. And that's and that that is the weakness with the Weaviles right there is when you don't have a bunch of them on the field they they become pretty weak and if you're not rolling the white spin they you know the, the 20 is good against purple but it's not going to beat much 
And if you're not freezing your opponent, like if he had froze my opponent, my, my, my Darkrai on the corner there, he could have freed all his Pokemon because I had no way of getting anything anywhere near the, the corner before he could have brought out a Pokemon and then knocked my guy out or just surrounded my Pokemon to the point where I couldn't reach him. So not a great representation of Darkrai. We did get to see, you know, the, the Dark Leap and the Dark Void, but he wasn't really a factor. Um, you, you may not see too many of those dark decks in league play, but it's not unheard of to think that you would come across a dark deck in league play. And especially in the gym where, you know, I, I have come across several, not a lot, but several Weavile type decks. So there you go. Keep pushing forward. Try to get to the, the 30 wins so you can get one Dark Rye. And if you already have your Dark Rye, let me know what, what kind of cheeky wins have you gotten out of your Dark Rye? Who are you pairing with your Dark Rye to take effect of the sleep? Or do you think that, like most of the, the gym reward Pokemon, it's not really viable? It's a cool concept, just not really gonna work out in actual gameplay. And also let me know, what is the most viable gym reward Pokemon since the world release? Is it Gyarados? I see quite a bit of those. Will Darkrai dethrone Gyarados? Um, let me know. Put it down in the comments below. Today is Friday. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'm going to try my best to get a video out for you guys tomorrow. No promises, but I'm going to try. Take care this weekend. If I don't see you the rest of the weekend, we'll be back at it on Monday. So until next time.